What's good y'all, so today I'm gonna break down the loop on the screen right here and after I'm broken down the loop I'm gonna add some drums to it at the end of the video and make a beat out of it so yeah let's get straight to it. <laughs> So here's the loop, I'm gonna walk you through each of the patterns, one by one. I start off uh, the melody with this dulcitone uh, 1900 bank from Sound Dust, and I made this simple pattern right here. Uh, I'm gonna play it first without any effects and then explain kinda how I made it. It's very simple, and then I'm gonna show you the processing and how I flipped the wave file and all of that. So here's what the original sounds like. Yeah, so I'm gonna delete all of this right here and sh explain how I made it. All right, so here's basically how I, how I made the MIDI. Uh, so I made a D-sharp minor chord like this, uh, just these three notes, and I also duplicated the D-sharp, like the root note, up a octave right here. And I took the third note of the D-sharp minor chord and moved it to the side like this. And then I utilized this half step right here to make it go down to F. So here's how this little section sounds. So after I had this, uh, I I placed a F sharp note up here, and then I made that one go down here. So here's what that sounds like. Uh, yes, then I just duplicated these over here, but I deleted this one and dragged this one all the way. And then I just placed this A sharp note right here. So very simple, it's just a D sharp minor chord and uh, moved the third note to the side and after that it was just basically following uh, and after that I was just basically following my ears going up here, here and doing some repetitive shit over here so this is the same as this but I moved the A sharp to the side so initially I think I just uh, duplicated this over but moved this one to the side like this just like that and then I duplicated it for three times and the fourth time I just pitched it up five semitones like this just like that so that's how I made the MIDI the effects on this one or on the melody was I start off with an EQ nothing crazy with the EQ just taking out the low end so after the EQ I went to portal and I went to the stutter effects in the prod by HTE's grain synthesis uh, bank so I automated the mix knob in the inside of Portal and I made this automation right here. So as you can see, it starts down here, goes up, goes down and then goes up again. And then I just duplicated it for the second part as well. After that, I added some DAW LP, I turned down all these knobs and messed around with these two. So reverb, nothing crazy. And then I added effect tricks that only affected the, the part that I didn't like that I pitched up five semitones. So I added a reverse and some chorus to it. And finally, I added a half time, put the mix to 40%, turned this FX thing all the way back. And I also made an automation clip of it, uh, just like this. And as you can see, it also only affects the last part of the melody. So here's how the pattern sounds like with the automation and all the effects on. So yeah, I, I, uh, I thought that sounded way better, or at least a little bit better than the original uh, right here. It it makes it a little bit more interesting with the halftime and the reverse effect and all of that. So after I had this, I just uh, rendered it out as a wave file, uh, which is this wave file right here. Uh, I pitched it up to semitones and time stretched it. So if we look at it without the time stretch, it's uh, for eight bars, but I turned it down to, to four bars to make it faster, duplicated it over. And then for the second part right here, this is the same melody as well, but this one I kept it for eight bars. 
So here's what it sounds like after after the time stretch. Yeah, so that's basically the main melody. Uh, these up here are the fast one and these down here are the slow one. So after I had that, I went to Analog Lab right here and I went to my Indigo bag that recently dropped. Uh, link in the description if you're trying to cop this. I went with the Pilot preset, which is a Evolving Keys preset and it sounds like this. Yeah, super simple pattern, but it just adds uh, some character to the sample. So after I had that, I all I added to it was some reverb, nothing crazy. And then I bounced it out as a WAV file. I ended up chopping it up, so I didn't use the high part. I just used this uh, note hitting at each like drop. Just for some small variety in the sample. So after that, I added... Uh, so after I added this sound, I went to Contact, uh, this bank right here, Noir Pure, and I went with the Dark preset. And I deleted the MIDI for it, but I just filled out one note hitting at like A sharp or D sharp, or whatever the root note was. So just like this. I added a decapitator to the piano just to make it hit harder and I went with the beefy uh, with the beefy preset and for the last sound uh, in this loop I used a one shot flute which is the Nami flute mellow uh, which you can get in his ch uh, chapter one pack uh, the one shot kit right here the flute mellow and I made this little pattern with it so the nice nice thing with the one shot flutes is that you can slide them it just adds a lot of character to the whole sample or the melody. Yes, I'm gonna play it and let you hear how it sounds. Yeah, it's pretty hard to explain because I was only following my ears with this, but if you don't know how to slide notes, you just place out a note like this double click it, press this thing, accept, and then you can like uh, pick how long the slide should be. So if you want a quick slide like this, if you want a longer slide like uh, this maybe. So you can mess around with it and see what you like. I like to use like half steps when I slide because it's very subtle. It's very like uh, small slides, but it adds a lot of character. Yes, yeah, so I added an EQ to the flute, taking out the lows, and turned up the stereo imaging just a little bit. So here's the final sample. Alright, so I'm gonna export this right now and load it up in a new FLP and make a beat out of it. So I'm gonna catch y'all in a second. Alright, so in a new FLP, I got the sample loaded up right here. I'm just gonna cut the first part. And then cut the tail. Add a pattern. And now let's start cooking up this beat, man. Alright. <laughs> So I'm gonna make a very simple hi-hat pattern and I'm gonna add some simple rolls here and there. So I like that. I'm gonna duplicate this and then uh, do some changes here. I'm also gonna add a effect tricks. 
and just add a loop uh, and just add one reverse right before the clap so i'm gonna turn this on and put this to one eighth yeah that's perfect Spins. Uh, turn it up, uh, turn the velocity up, and put a soft dipper on the master. Maybe turn it down a little bit. And I'm gonna turn up the off knob as well because I don't want it to be so long. Alright, so let's do this hi-hat and maybe i can do a switch up so i'm just gonna go to my drum midi kit uh, volume 2 and see if i find a nice hi-hat pattern in the in the bpm <laughs> by channel uh, dragging in everything and uh, just gotta figure out man so that's pretty much it for the video hope you enjoyed the sample breakdown hope you enjoyed the beat cook up and i'm gonna catch y'all in the next video